Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Spirit of the living God, we submit ourselves to you and we ask that you will teach us, help us to understand the kingdom and help us to access the mysteries that come with this kingdom and help us to demonstrate the reality of the life, the power, the grace of God that is resident within us. We give you all the praise tonight. We will never be the same. Our hearts are open. We never get familiar with your presence. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Before I begin tonight, I just want us to take a minute and just thank the Lord for the manifest miracles, signs and wonders that he's doing through us, among us. Can we just lift up our voices in one minute and say, Lord, we are not ungrateful people. We thank you. All who are connected with us, to us, around, following us online, join us to lift our voices and tell him thank you. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we acknowledge you as a doer of all things, working by your spirit. You only use men, but it never comes from men. We acknowledge you before the entire world, and we declare that you are the wisdom behind the results that we command. You are the Lord of the outcomes. You are the Lord of every good thing that we celebrate in this ministry. So Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, we are to start a series on the Holy Spirit, but that will be next week. I course of the week I had a very serious burden. We're still going to be on the series but we just shift it one week and um, I think that there is a lot we need to learn about the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit and uh, how to walk in the anointing. It's not enough to just have the Spirit of God. We must know how to be demonstrators of that power but God had put something very strong in my heart and um, I trust God that will be as brief as possible tonight so that we can pray um, for me when it came it was very very serious and I think that is worth considering we are going to be praying I'm teaching tonight on dominion over curses dominion over curses dominion over curses thank you Jesus dominion over curses any aspect of the kingdom life that you do not have sufficient understanding of please listen carefully you will always experience the reign of darkness in that area the bible calls part of the cadres of the demonic kingdom there is a class of spirits called the rulers of darkness that means their dominion is on the strength of the absence of light or an inaccurate understanding on how to apply that light. You know, 
misunderstanding and ignorance are the same thing in the realm of the spirit one who is a possessor of light but cannot apply it adequately and one who is barren of that light both of them are destined to have the same outcome so it's not enough to be possessors of light we must also be possessors of understanding the system in the kingdom by which we apply this truth you will be learning a lot this night and i trust that god will open our eyes in the name of jesus in the course of this very brief teaching tonight god is going to be opening our eyes and we're going to be seeing a lot of things as it concerns our lives our families our destinies but much more than the knowledge god will hand to us the keys that will not only help us to rise above it but help the people in our families to rise above it praise the lord if i look at the baby that shalhoma is holding and i call that baby an adult i can argue based on whatever scientific fact i can choose to even say she's not holding a baby whether i decide based on my perception to assume she's not holding a baby or not the truth remains the truth are you getting what i'm saying the bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth there are certain realities as far as our work with god and our work in the kingdom is concerned that if we do not pay attention to and sustain the grace to be able to bring those things under the feet of jesus we will live absolutely defeated lives and one of it is what i'm going to be teaching you tonight dominion over curses lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 very interesting scripture please give us that scripture lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 i want us to read it as loud and clear if you are a child of god ready one to read one more time stop what does it mean and they are not they are what that means they have left the scene something started with them and their presence departed from the scene but whatever that something is the bible says and we have done what the word born there is the word inherited our fathers have sinned and are not it was only fair that whatever trouble will go with them but the bible says we have borne their iniquity i hope you know the bible says all scripture was inspired of the holy ghost holy men wrote right as they were moved by the spirit the second scripture i want us to look at is proverbs 26 verse 2 and then we'll begin to establish a few things. Proverbs 26 verse 2. I want us to read one to read. As the bird by wandering. As the swallow by flying. Read please. So the cause causeless. <sighs> Look, look at this. This, this i'm already laughing because i don't know how many of you went to school but i think that this was written in basic english so the cause causeless shall not come in other words if it comes there is a cause the condition for it not being there is that nothing caused it that means the presence of any kind of predicament is a sign that it was intentionally initiated the Bible says there is a law, and this is the law, that the, a cause, causeless, shall not come. It didn't say shall not stand. It will never even manifest in the first place. So the fact that it was able to appear in the scene of your destiny, regardless of what caused it, this law 
was properly obeyed for it to find expression it says a cause causeless shall not stand it shall not come there are so many believers who do not understand the laws of the kingdom and the systems of God like we have been discussing here this is part of accessing spiritual intelligence and um, we confess so many things we do not understand in the body of Christ and we are largely victims of situations and circumstances there are so many people who do not even believe that there is such a phenomenon in the dealings of men in the earth called a system where men can experience what the Bible calls a cause the word sounds insulting the word sounds antichrist the word sounds degrading but it's interesting to know that the first person who used it in the Bible was God The first person to reveal to us that there is a possibility that a man's life can be programmed to experience woes was not even Satan. It was God Almighty. Now think about this. God himself is using something. Are we believers? Ah, look at you looking at me as if you left your Bible one year ago. Is it not in your Bible? When man fell, the Bible says, and the Lord God had the voice. I mean, and they had the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day, correct? And he came and said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? Then he said, the woman. This madam you have kept close to me, did this and that and that, and because of her, I got into trouble. Woman, what is this that you have done? She said, the serpent and he turned to the serpent and the bible clearly clearly tells us number one the serpent was cursed that he would crawl on his belly and he shall feed upon the dust of the earth correct then god turned to the woman and made another pronouncement of pain in childbirth then god turned to the earth innocent earth and said cursed are you for the sake of the man tons and thistles shall begin to come out and in the sweat of thy brow that's the mystery of hardship god using that same statement the second experience was with a man called cain when cain killed his brother and then God called on Cain, where is your brother? I said, am I my brother's keeper? And God said that the blood of the brother crieth from the earth. And then he cursed Cain. Correct? And when he listed those curses, a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be? And Cain turned and even negotiated. Remember in one of our teachings we explained that. And he said, no, 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 no. Whoever sees me, whoever sees me, whether he has no business killing me or not something upon me will force him to want to kill me and god said all right i will put a mark without that mark anyone can kill you so it's not about who kills it's about what is making them want to kill you listen carefully please follow me tonight you are going to learn a lot a cause causeless shall not stand it's like saying every time you see water in this bottle it was intentionally put it cannot just appear write this down what is a cause ah looked around and suddenly realized that you've been so good to me your mercy is everlasting on the night Who am I that you are mindful of? Who am I that you hear my cry when I call you? 
Who am I that you are mine to love? Yeah. Who am I? You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence, not you. You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence, not you. That means the operation of a course cannot be studied intellectually. You must be able to study from the standpoint of the realm of the spirit. A course is a mystery. The second thing I want you to know about a course is that a course is a spiritual force. A course, listen carefully, is a spiritual force. A cause is a spiritual force. Are we together? Number three, a cause has magnetic characteristics. Like you talk in magnetism, an attracting power. It can attract certain things to its victim. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. Let's take it very carefully tonight. A cause is a mystery. A cause is a spiritual force. Then a cause is magnetic. It has an attracting power. Number four. A cause is always negative in its manifestation. A cause is always negative. In its manifestation there's no such thing as positive cause no what is a cause a cause is an invocation a cause is an invocation comma a programming a cause is an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities to the life of its victim a cause is a what an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities pay attention and listen carefully in the life of its victim it always has negative effects on the life of its victim a cause can be made manifest in the life of a person through utterances let's be very fast utterances and pronouncements utterances and pronouncements the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that utterances and pronouncements have prophetic implications whether from the positive dimension or the negative dimension every time an utterance is made the Bible tells us it has an effect that is supported from the realm of the spirit. 
that every time I open my mouth to utter an utterance the Bible tells us whether it was done in ignorance or it was done intelligently that there is a support system in the realm of the spirit that helps to back the outcome of that pronouncement so the Bible says say not before an angel I made a mistake Causes can find expression through written words. This is largely seen in, not much of this is understood in Christianity. But when you study world religions, you find out that there are many religions that um, work like a legal system. They have from slates to books to mantras to manuals and all kinds of things. And all of these gadgets and these documents are a system and whenever they are invoked in a certain dimension and a manner they have capacity to program woes upon the life of the people these are the basic ways that the bible reveals to us that a cause can be communicated to an individual now very quickly what is the character of a cause i'm being very I'm, I'm talking tonight like a lecturer because i want us to pray and i really want everybody to understand this it is easy to know that a territory listen carefully maybe let me change the word and call it a siege let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you but the name is a cause if I change the name, it's only for your comfort, not to change the reality. It is called a cause. Are we together? Our idea of a cause is someone who offends you, then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause. No, no. It is that idea that makes us feel guilty. Say, no, 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 I didn't offend anybody. No. In this world, once you are alive, you have to find out what happened before you. Because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence. Are we together now? It is easy to know that a personality, a family, a territory is under a cause. The first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities please pay attention patterns patterns the classic indication of curses and blessings in the bible is patterns patterns the same way the same way you can know that a man, a place, an individual is blessed. There is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition. Are we together? Yeah. So we look at the life of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the Israel of God, and we see a pattern. Everyone who spoke against them was judged by God. There was something upon them every time they violated his dictates they were given to their enemies it was a pattern patterns are very common in the lives of people now we just pretend that they are not there you see let me tell you something one of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith listen carefully is because of insincerity when you want to approach spiritual things, you must be open-hearted and sincere. Are we together? Your heart must be broken and contrite. This pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere. There are patterns as far as finances are concerned. There are patterns as far as family lives are concerned. You turn and look around the average family in Africa and you will know that there are patterns now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture 
Don't be quick to just say, no, 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 no. But it doesn't exist. I think I did something about it. A cause, causeless. If it still remains, the cause is there. A cause, causeless. A cause, causeless. If I have a boil in my hand and I go to doctor, if I come to you and I have a boil in my hand, you will tell me that this boil is a reaction, it's an effect of something. Is that true? The boil is showing that something is wrong. So the cause is not the failure. The failure is a message. The patterns are a message. They are not the cause. The cause is spiritual. The cause is an atmosphere. It's like a cloud. It's like a mantle that an individual can carry. Has capacity to break barriers. Has capacity to follow you. It can pursue a man. It can overtake a man. The Bible personifies a cause. In Deuteronomy 28, you see that he spoke to them. A list of blessings and then causes. He said it will pursue you and overtake you. Travel to London. Travel to UK. Travel to your village. Go to school. Marry. Be wherever. It can follow you. It has that capacity. That limitless ability. A quality only given to spiritual things. A cause is not failure. A cause is not barrenness. A cause is not retrogression. All those things are messages. They are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Joshua chapter 7. Let's look at it very quickly. Something interesting happened there. We'll read verse 1, then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1, and then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of what? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou toss upon thy face? Because they were defeated. A small city defeated them. And Joshua went to God. Israel had who sinned? It never said Achan had sinned. We are Bible students. It never said Achan had sinned. He said Israel had sinned. And they have transgressed my covenant which I commanded them for they have even they, 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 they have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12 therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies but turned their backs before their enemies why? they started by taking something accost and in verse 12, they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said, no, I can't let this thing go like that. And he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and God was watching. And God said, Israel, you have seen. And all of them, think of the innocent people that died in the war. They were all preparing oh god will give us i mean if god gave us jericho what is ai a small town and in their midst someone smuggled an item and all of a sudden they went to battlefield imagine them moving warriors and they were utterly defeated and joshua the embarrassment was too much and he went back to god crying and god said stand up please this is not the issue of prayer you need to understand i need to give you understanding don't just lie down crying for nothing he said israel has sinned they took something and by this time 
he said they themselves were a cause he said neither will i be with you anymore except he destroyed the accursed from among you the accursed was no longer a thing but a person our cause is real i wish they were not i would have just told you i was joking let's be serious now our cause is real don't you see them in your family i know you act like they are not there don't you see them around listen carefully don't you see them in the life of pastors don't you see them in the life of apostles prophets great people a cause does not mean you are a sinner write it down you have to get this a sinner like one possessing the name listen listen i want to teach you something just pay attention whatever you don't understand just keep following a cause is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against god there are many families there are many individuals carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist it doesn't happen but we are watching with our eyes remember the bible says a cause causeless shall not come meaning if it comes don't just probe the effect what is the cause back to my boil example so i have a boil and my hand is swollen and i run to the doctor and say doctor help me and the doctor looks at it and smiles and says ah your white blood cells are fighting something are we together now they are fighting something or um what they call this thing fever sign ah pastor jt good to see you i didn't realize it was him hallelujah and then fever sign and then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere when others are feeling cold you are feeling hot correct you try to stand in the sun you start feeling cold again you don't know what is wrong with you that reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere whoever wins you will soon know if you don't recover it's a sign you are not winning and that means you must seek assistance and the doctor will say okay i need to introduce something in your life and then he introduces something and all of a sudden things start changing and you cannot enter your body to know whether you are winning so you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering all of a sudden listen a boil that refused to go you put rub it refused to go you put local herbs are we together palm oil it refused to go immediately you know something is wrong this is not sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else the boy is saying it doesn't matter where i come out i can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there but when the doctor explains to you the issue is not the boil the issue is and if sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it he introduces something to your system then a boil causeless starts drying you watch it dry and it disappears and within a week you never believe anything is there then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone so don't sit down and tell me no boil is swelling we are all watching it grow you say no boil we are seeing it we are not stupid a cause causeless shall not stand you may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now you may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you so you are thinking you are the one sowing a day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding there are patterns that should not happen to believers if they are happening something should be dealt with it should not be ignored it should be understood and dealt with brothers and sisters hear me i tell you the truth by the authority of the lord jesus christ causes are real yes they are yes they are there are families today that all the men in that family 
never move forward they never rise they never become anything and you mean the men do not have to be irresponsible they are sincere people very sincere people there are families where every month per year somebody must die regardless of how sincere they are loving people it can even be after a church service on their way back they die after a prayer meeting rattling in tongues for hours you can't say they don't love god there are families if a man looks at you and says i love you even that man what will happen to him that night he will never repeat that statement again now he doesn't know why you too you don't know why you think the issue is okay am i too fat let me be on a diet no you are trying to rub palm oil on our boil remember our story i know many hard-working men hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached linkedin level no brothers and sisters we are intelligent how many graduates you see in a family seven graduates the only employed person in that family is a driver are they so stupid they are not lazy they will tell you they are not lazy most times we think it's because they are unserious and people erroneously say just forget it's just that they are not hard working please be careful some of you as you are sitting now if you are to be sincere you know things are not all right there are families when you give birth to people things happen there are pastors a jimmy they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry anointed remember my story born again filled with the holy spirit working miracles but still oppressed by demons i went to people quietly and i said what is wrong they said don't don't worry man let me tell you i don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me the demons didn't respect it shocking call the name of jesus nothing happened how do you call the name of jesus on a crusade ground and somebody is walking out of a crutch and you call it for your life and nothing happens i knew i needed to understand something your victory starts when you are humble when you have you say no 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 there has to be a puzzle to this equation it can be god mysterious sicknesses there are people today carrying hepatitis a b and whatever is they don't have when you go to the hospital and say i have hepatitis they ask you who had it in your family even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference there is such a possibility the fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit the fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality something listen something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand i have watched sincere people a jimmy bound sincerely there are pastors today as anointed as whatever you look at them you think it's the holy spirit no growth no increase and it's not only ministry it's a pattern anointed born again nothing happens no growth no increase how many people have they thrown away from they went to us just when they went they went with complete papers as soon as they were vetting people one got missing and you know that they did we here say look let me explain to you my papers were complete they said come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump hiv cancer 
see it killing men now once a man is 45 years old he starts getting afraid ask the doctors they will tell you prostate cancer once people start getting to 45 46 they are now they are now afraid because of cancer once a lady is approaching 28 29 even doctors start saying marry fast though because any moment from now and every stranger will start growing so once you are 30 and you are not married they will tell you look there's no room to hearing god just hurry up and get all your children fast how many do you plan to have five you need at least 10 years hurry up and catch up it's nonsense the devil is a liar this night patterns how about barrenness a trace of it how about fruitfulness but that not productive you give birth to 10 children all of them are useless there are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the wedding. now they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else they don't know themselves but it happened i have counseled people like that Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as that. And tonight, God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion. It is not just about what Christ has done. It is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart. We have claimed things that we don't know anything about. Let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know. I think it was you, Sam, I was talking to. Minis the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years. You are a ministry in Zaria. If you survive three years, you know the mystery of continuity. After three years, something must arise attempting to rubbish your life. A scandal. Are we together? One kind of failure. Something will just evolve out of nowhere. There are so many people, especially music artists, they've risen from zaria men of god risen from zaria but you don't know where they are today you see a musician just appears and for six months he's been invited everywhere and after that you just go still next we are waiting for the next person <laughs> yeah. there is a level the devil pegs men and pegs their destiny you never rise beyond a level there are families is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance it's okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see i saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters. I've shared it with you. Very sincere people. None of them died a good death. Mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels. Some of your fathers are like that. They started working from 22 as it is now if you send them five thousand they will kneel down and say thank you it's a cause it's a cause some of you are in school as students but they are calling you from home anything for this month you say mommy just take it easy we keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong see let me tell you you don't deal with it you marry it follows you there you don't deal with it you because as you are married once you are standing with your necktie two of you are bringing everything you represent and you move into the house do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards it is because they are open to the prophetic but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of god they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out so they say no 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 and truly what they are saying is not a lie they say your trouble started from the day this lady one lady come all of a sudden you said you marry her you now got married you were a millionaire in five months five months you are looking for ten thousand 
to buy a new shoe mysterious things happen your first car got missing the second car police police caught it the third car is somewhere else your truck capsided like that the driver slept off listen and your life is reduced back and then you now go to a man of god i'm not i'm not talking against men of god you know i love the body of christ but you go somewhere and then the man genuine man of god now looks and says ah who did you marry Tosi. <laughs> thank god you are even still alive it is just an example darling just an example are we together now give me your hand now run away from me you want to deny me now to see be nice to me be a nice wife are we together and then the man you see men will consult quietly they will announce in public is the anger you see publicly the man now returns home good evening darling or honey say see let me tell you i am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure he stops eating your food because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure and this lady is sincere she loves god are we together now and they cannot un why will you call such a nice woman a witch she may not be a witch but she's connected to something that is causing that effect plus the one you are now bringing we have not even talked about the one on the man hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things and you find out that things don't work in people's lives that's why in certain villages they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what cost it doesn't happen in your village where they isolate a group of people and say these people whoever marries will either die or something and sincerely speaking you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love love is blind and jimmy said marriage will open your eyes you now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that tell me why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account how many children grew up with him two children he's still poor there are families win lottery get anything they will still be poor it has nothing to do with money it's a system listen the system of causes outlive those who cost it it can outlive it the primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance our grandmothers and great grandmothers you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children never went to a hospital no cs out of those 14 children one was a set of twins one was a set of triplets and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and please this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria are, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them they didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything 
burn it <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work If I didn't know this, I would have been a failure all my life. Are we together? I have seen this thing happen. With all humility, I don't know how many of my extended people, especially from my paternal side, that I can look and say, this person is successful today. No. No. Causes can come directly from God. <laughs> directly from God. This is not the cause of the law. The cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing. As ancestral causes there is such a thing number three self-inflicted causes self-inflicted causes there are programmings that can come upon the lives of people which is a product of self-infliction The cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you is a cause the moment you are not in Christ you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation that from dust thou art and to dust thou shall return that tons and thistles shall come upon your ground and with the, the sweat of your brow shall you feed there is a cause that is upon creation it cannot be taken away you can only be exempted from it Hear me please. That is the reason why the old earth will be purged. There is a reason why fire will purge this earth. There is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now. Individuals born by default. In sin did my mother conceive me, he says. And you are a victim of it. Mortality is a cause that came with creation. There is such a possibility that a man can extend his life. You can access the reality of God's life. Failure, the cause. If you are not in Christ, listen, you are not in Christ, you qualify for the sinner's cause. It's not something bad. It's not even about what you did. It's a reality. God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways. And then I said number two, ancestral causes. Ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements. Products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities. There was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities you see that in ancient Babylon you see that in Egypt the sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods 
there was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them an agreement a covenant causes operate on legal grounds they don't operate by mistake they operate on legal grounds there is a legal system in the kingdom and don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne a system that God is obliged to honor who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will that's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight who can stand against my king no one can no one will oh when you walk out of this many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways remarkable ways your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again there is such a possibility that a man can sit down bless on the left and on the right an effulgence of zoe the reality of god's life practically at work in a man and they look at you and say pastor alpha is it true that you came from kogi state with this rest roundabout the witches left you they didn't leave me i came out access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there i came out by a mystery of exemption this house I built it at what age 27 where did you get the money from the only person that built a house here was the king of the village and he built it at 63 and you tell them well 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 welcome to a new order where intelligence creates reality do you know you would die and you say no no the same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house You had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can they ally Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of god is a mystery i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil i don't know poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no, sir. I counsel a couple, a Jimmy. They got married. Their wedding night, that's supposed to be a night of joy. Their very wedding night, a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing I did to your mother is what I would do to you. She, true story, she got pregnant according to what she told me. They were even happy people were dancing and in the night this stranger came again and this is all he did on her stomach and she got up in the morning bleeding profusely as if she would die machines don't diagnose causes machines cannot detect the presence of demons they only detect the effect of their presence We went to Ida. We always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference. And I remember one of the years when we traveled there, he took us on a tour. 
and began to explain to us we went to greet the king the man refused to see us later on and then we went somewhere and i saw foul remember market square one market square that we went i saw it there with my eyes and people were passing whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there witchcraft is real if you see anybody rising he is exempted or yet to be a victim you hear what i said exempted or or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others i say it's because you don't know the day will do you he will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil will say just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened you say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception the western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things oh they leave it to all the spiritists and the, as the the transcendental meditators and all of them come the nation of america listen their fathers understood this mystery they walked in power and when satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to god he left them and started growing with their children he said let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground and he started growing with the children and all the children came up with all kinds of things you know i mean there's if, if you are sick right now you cough ambulance is coming in five minutes and so they don't believe it now look at the disaster happening in the western world where people can kill themselves on youtube shoot their children effects they laughed at us in africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god-fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say hi my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant There is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say a cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there a manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness poverty and causes if we do not get this we will destroy ourselves 
every time I look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what I tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast I look at these dear ones and I'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedence for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well? Secondary school, brilliant people. Wayek, nine papers. They step into the university and all of a sudden, 100 level result, nine Fs. You think they are dull. They are conducting tutorials. But they enter the exam hall. They only remember in the night when the exam has finished. It's not everybody who is lazy. Let me tell you. What of recurrent sicknesses? There are people today, there is no month they don't fall sick. Go to the hospital, they will tell you nothing is wrong. Now the doctors are wiser. Thank God for spiritual people becoming doctors. They don't waste time again. The moment they diagnose you, they see that you have come once, twice. They'll say, do you know what? Find any available crusade and run quickly. Go to the front early and stand there and trust God to wipe your tears. That's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens i look forward to times where god will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there shagato soto labaya help that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth Koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons. Let me tell you, make no mistakes. Only God knows how many powers try to kill me every day. I told you all the time. Only God knows how many people take my names to shrines. Oh, it has never happened in Israel. There was a woman called the widow of Nain what killed her husband she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus saw and said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are mad men they are not they are, their brains are not even in place again madman is a woman that pays the school fees of children is a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer it's a cause There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight
tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit they raise so many men but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they're about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent it's a programming you reign you ancient zion king kadosh kadosh you were mighty on your own break forth down fountains of the deep and we have you are mighty on your throne listen help me how can a man lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job is it that dull see let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray listen listen to me when you study the laws of mechanics sir isaac newton postulated a law we call it the first law of mechanics and this is what it states that everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen 
if you buy your first car at 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony take seriously what i'm saying what of ministries there are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers you will see a church with members but prosperity zero when it comes to finances you will never see increase in that area but tonight god put this body in my heart because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shut the womb of a milka david's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying is a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god the house of god is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know style a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them i'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us psalms 102 verse 13 read it if you're a child of god one two read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her 
even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of god the mercy of god is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only passed through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of god is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of god is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of god is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when i get to the end of my road i know that i am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness i am not a titer i am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card i danced it did not work i prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of god you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Samson lost his strength to Delilah. The Bible says his eyes were plucked, the symbol of light in his life, and the mystery that surrounded his power, his hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of God. Everything was over. But that Samson leaned there, they didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord, he cried for mercy. And the moment he did that, see, there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercy. 
meaning my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake but it is of the Lord's mercy somewhere in my work he creates a system a provision see let me tell you it is on grounds of this that the Bible can say rejoice not over me my enemies for when you think ah there was a time his car now had an accident will he ever rise again don't go, ah. the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy you are finished mercy and Samson pushed and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing they are quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of God is an attribute you need in your life it's not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations there is such a thing as limitation if I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting I will be lying no I have mastered the art of God's mercy years ago during a pastor's, a pastor's conference the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy 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 jesus met a woman by the well when he met that woman by the well they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt jesus you're a bad woman and Jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what I have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this Oh, this great ministry, Koinonia, Apostle, what wisdom. You are such an anointed man. I just laugh and look at them. You need to hear my prayer in the secret place. The mercy of God. When David, one day, the Bible says, when kings go for war, David was meandering his balcony, correct? And he looked at somebody's wife, she was baffing. And from the altitude, he could see her nakedness and he desired her. The Bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came. He now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call Uriah in the heat of war. Not minding whether the nation of Israel would die. They carried Uriah and brought Uriah. Uriah said, my king, I'm here. He says, I just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently? Uriah says, ah. Have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel? I should be there in the heat of battle. And he got angry. And all he did, listen, was to write a letter, a man's own death sentence, and give him to the battle. And the painful part is that he died. Question, 
what was the difference between Cain and David? Cain killed Abel. Blood started crying. Meaning when David killed Uriah, blood should be crying. Correct? David went, wept, 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 wept. When all of that happened, you would think that after the, the child died, you will now tell the wife, it's okay, go, I will marry you again. Who was the mother of Solomon? <laughs> he did it again. Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his message shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understands, not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. For you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything, you are a joker. But the mercy of God has a way of exempting you. The mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot. The mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life, regardless of what was seen about you. A particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one who watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that will deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy 
when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there as we travel around I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me when I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look I say except for the mercy of God who dash monkey banana who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what I'm saying there is a dimension in ministry I believe in principles I teach principles here but let me tell you the truth there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because I have seen women who never trained their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love God they are wonderful people walking in the ways of God but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom 
let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good I learned certain principles I knew now I was already getting their results when I learned the principle I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before I understood principles of church growth and increase I had been seeing the hand of God and is there is a science to growth if you don't know it it should not happen but mercy 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 tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful I think I'm intelligent I should be a millionaire by now the pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy one of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes against yokes listen i've seen people edge me they are not even born again yet but sincerely you know they call it in house affairs genie you've seen that happen they take their names to the Habalis and the Habalis will reject it and they are not born again. They don't love God. They don't know him. But their hearts are so sincere. Somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is, they are grateful to him. And God says, protect them. Regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful, their hearts are wicked, yet God protects them. I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man God will deal with you but you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead they never fear anything they hear that there is crisis bomb will explode where you know they are in the night you still see him back safe and hale and hearty you didn't die and he laughs That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. Honestly, he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy. All he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to God. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. This is what has kept some of our parents so because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died since it would have it would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration when i didn't know the principles of long life I imagine what would have happened and I wonder how many things I do not know now that I will know in the future how I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy I give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them
and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the god of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, yes, we Just that stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness And your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy Oh, hallelujah To receive the kind of love that you give
in one minute. Begin to mention the things you know didn't come as a result of your prayer life. Things that are attributes of his mercy and benevolence. If you are ashamed of it, you are not a candidate for mercy tonight. the Lord. Mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said the Lord rebuke you. Listen! The mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me. But what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Hey, Invoke mercy. Repeat after me. Every voice. Every voice of mercy. The voice of winner. The voice of savior. The voice of failure. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! invoke mercy come on now invoke mercy invoke the blood invoke the blood Hallelujah. Hear me. 
the Bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted you need my life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinoni are you praying Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh. Let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7. Please quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now 
if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is cursed, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Koinonia, are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you SS. That made you AS. That gave you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of the Lord the spirit of the Lord the Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. You hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, He says, And if ye be Christ's, 
then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise I want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as I pray and right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them please be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of Jesus I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that man be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of causes and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now
announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Listen, if you choose to believe the truth, he will change you. They've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there, is, there, is, uh, there is something you are not, you know, you need to go and connect to this, you need to do that. I believe in favor, but favor is only when it comes from God through men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so 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 person in federal ministry of this you will never get a job that's how we do it you are not part of the we and you find out and the bible says that when a man's ways pleases the lord that's the truth that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him are we together listen the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you you can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities is the part you find i have found from this word listen and i don't want you to be offended by what i'm saying but i've found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days i found it i used to fear death i think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching I got about death was that any day it can meet you anytime. And it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched. I said, God, but how can I live my entire life being afraid? I'm going to live a life traveling all the time. Right? I'm in the air, I'm on road. In the morning, in the afternoon, there are armed robbers, weather conditions. What is the guarantee that I'm going? I mean, I can't live my life. I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid. I want to go and heal the sick, cast out demons. But me, the man of God that God will use, you are now afraid whether you arrive safely. As soon as you arrive, your heart returns back and you are like, thank you, Jesus. What is torturous way of living? But there is a truth. Ha! Ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. 
let me tell you without understanding the truth any action you take is arrogance you make a fool out of yourself what is the guarantee that in the next few minutes the lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people is the truth as at morning when they were fixing this place what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled what was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world is the truth there is an information you know the power of god that i believe you oh god and i'm ready to follow you will not lie to me i believe you you are not a man that you should lie not the son of man i don't doubt him i believe you my experiences notwithstanding i still believe you number three jesus the life hmm. a revelation of his power and his ability to make a life jesus the life john 11 verse 25 to 26 an event happened there lazarus was a man who had died three days and then jesus said he sleepeth, and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes i know for now i do not have a job i lost my job yes i know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the bible says very interesting well let's finish it i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believeth on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us seven to nine job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope 
for Joshua Selman. For there is hope for any life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For there is hope in spite of that medical report. Humanly speaking, you should put your house in order. Ask Hezekiah. When a true prophet came and said, Hezekiah, I've heard from God. When a man hears from God, who else do you consult? But Hezekiah said, no way. I know this mystery. There is resurrection. There is life. There is hope. He turned his face and said, God, let's talk. I know Isaiah is your prophet, but I'm your child too. Let's talk. Remember now. Come on, God. Don't act as if you ignore me like that. And God said, ah, 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 ah. He has compelled a dimension. Listen, let me tell you. Tonight, you have to insist for some things to come back to life. Don't come. Some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over. That business will never come alive. Let, we just give glory to God. It's over. It has gone. That destiny will never come alive. But it's okay. I already know that I would never walk again. My leg can't walk. So my focus now is to just succeed. I am the resurrection and the life. It says, for there is hope for a tree. If it be what? Cut down. I like that word. Cut down, not rooted out. Cut down means the root is still connected. The mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving God. I, I, I know you lost, you lost joy, you lost peace. You made a mistake. I know you now have a baby. It should not be. But the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing i hear the joy coming Hey, I hear the breakthrough coming. I hear the sound coming, sound of abundance and joy. I see the lifting coming. Hey. Hold on, listen. I tell you that. that the anointing of God is strong upon me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Give us that scripture again. Give us that scripture. Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. Let the devil hear you. Let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say, will she ever rise with this carryover? With 11 carryovers, will you ever rise? The Bible says there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease. We are reading to verse 9. Though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground. Verse 9. Yet... Hold on. It didn't say through the arrival of water, the scent, proximity to life. Proximity to life. The moment you come into a place where there is life, it has not touched you yet. Your roots resonating with life. Listen, listen. Those of you who have done physics, there's something they call resonance. Is that true? That when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency, every other object within that frequency answers to it. You were designed by the life-giving spirit. So when Satan tries to bring death, and then you are seated somewhere, you come into an environment where there's life. Deep starts calling on to deep. Your dream starts telling you, I'm ready to come back to life. Forget the fact that I failed. Rejoice not over me, my enemy. We live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die. Ah, look at this mama. Nine children, all useless. And she's coming for koinonia. And they say, keep going. Mama, tonight, the resurrection and the life. The resurrection and the life. Hear me. 
how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god well will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotabriata listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know god this god we serve are we together i always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about saul god was seeing paul ah. apostle but i don't even know who my father is I'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when god was going he had to climb the tree and God said, come down, Zacchaeus, it's your house I'm going. Let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house. And at once, Zacchaeus said, I will repay everybody. And Zacchaeus completely changed. Hear me? I came to preach to someone tonight. There is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life. The life. The life. Jesus the life. Jesus the life. Jesus the life jesus the life that everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the god that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about god here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cysts and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name 
the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me Mordecai Mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name I have seen this truly speaking that God vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when God vows a vow to lift a man I tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that God can say the appointed time is come I've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles God just vowed with his name tonight I want your faith to be please look listen you have come before God this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open I want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but I perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is dead no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life to draw from you again hey, hey. to drink from you again hey, hey. To drink from you again hey, hey, hey. We've come to the Lord We've come to the Lord The Lord The Lord From you again From you again the same tonight i insist lift your voice and pray lord i can't go back the way i came i place a demand a demand on your anointing a demand on your anointing Ministry, 
Prayer point number two change my level, oh God. Change the dimensions. Take me to another level. Hey. Let me have your attention. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot to do tonight. We're going to do it in this order. I'm going to take the altar call now. And then tonight we're going to start with the sick. I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let me have your attention. My God, the power of God is so strong, so strong. I already see activities of angels. You're in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three. Celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run! No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Turning back, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I'm seeing three people in overflow three there, and the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people. Overflow three, please quickly. There's so much to do. There are three people I'm seeing in overflow, three outside. And the Lord is telling me they should be there. 
don't allow your friends stop you i'm still going to give one more minute one more minute as the holy spirit is convicting you you're saying i want to come but i'm a bit shy run make your way quickly come and join us come and join us hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on hold on now you see when most people give their lives to christ they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we're not talking about a husband or wife the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower please hear me as you are here make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it please don't don't play games with god this is the god of heaven i want you to say this from the depth of your heart all of you in front here and those joining quickly if you are joining them make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin i believe that you resurrected for me this night i have heard your word and i declare that i need you in my life i hand over my life to you from now and forever i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today i am a child of god satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiving i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life i set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise god now i will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service i want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back Please politely follow them. They will ask for your details. Cooperate with them. Everyone this way. Let's honor them as they go very quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we help them? Let's make it fast. Now, we're going to do it this way. Um, I'm going to start praying for the sick right, right away. We're going to pray for the sick now. So that we can take out time um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head i set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter i decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something i'm seeing in your stomach i decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray uh 
there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight um, any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please I will pray for people overflow one I want you to match to your overflow those who are trusting God you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um, but let's do it this way all those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease HIV cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and I want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if I'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um, a crowd there so overflow one I like all of you who are trusting God to be prayed for please I want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um, overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we are going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that I ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because God has anointed us for this reason hallelujah God has anointed us it's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to God's people make your way quickly look how many people need the touch of God what a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the Lord to touch and heal and bless everyone lift your voice and pray everyone lift your voice lift your voice pray it's a miracle service please those that are coming in from outside make sure it's only blood related diseases terminal diseases terminal diseases otherwise you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you father you have anointed you have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place tonight we pray that there will be abundance abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people uh, might leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you and uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Um, Shade and Promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road. Shade and Promise, Benga and um, Femi, this overflow. And then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha. Um, huh? Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, they join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs, let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I believe Jesus there is healing in your name as we worship as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle touch, is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle, gentle touch, touch, it's flowing. It's
destiny that will go back with you please believe this night there are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings you see this dear lady this lady came all the way from lagos had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life it's not just about employment came here this lady came i think it was last week all the way because she was nothing at all she was employed but oppression after oppression There's somebody in the congregation I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes this is strange and I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants I'm seeing an elephant and I'm seeing like fire coming this is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking um, I'm praying for the sick but we're going to minister to other needs but right now the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person so I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me right now from here I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person wherever you are in this congregation I decree and declare right now that the power of God touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's stand I'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body Lord in the name of Jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this her mother mommy come how long has this been this is one year now year plus year plus yes her face just started swelling started bleeding from the nose and before you know it's one of her this eyes I out. prayed for her the last time yes you see it going down yes I see it you going see down. it from the last time yes. who was there when you saw yes. the last time it's going down you see it going down now yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ right now that the way this thing has started going down it must go down normally and then mama any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening are we together if i am a man of god that person must die this night <laughs> hallelujah because i'm looking at you hold on i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the face of a woman and i'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground on ground like enchantment i say it again whoever is responsible for terminating attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the God of heaven, may the ground open and swallow her now. God bless you. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Wickedness is very, very real. Very real. Very, very real. Very, very real. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, judgment tonight. Pray! Lift your voice. Shabakato soto bakata. Lembrekete kata tata tata. Reketo shepekeriata. Everything that must give way for the next level of my destiny to be open, I command it so. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, pray inside, pray outside. Pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pray. 
Shaka toko 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 kesh. Rekete kete kata bara 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 bas. Mata kato shepe kete. Lente preke taba shabara bara 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 bara. Leke tapros kata bara nda kapras kata bara tosh. Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. Let her go now. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain really going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit's running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we're going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of the flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Brakatoso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto breke teli abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. From road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, 
outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online i cost that devil right now that fire is burning that fire is burning every principality every power Shaka -ta 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 -ta. outside mighty deliverances outside from road to road the power of god is setting people free it's time for yokes of captivity to give way it's time for age long captivities to give way Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare, anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now, on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams, appearing as men, appearing as women, appearing as animals, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, Jesus the life, is destroying any dead. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils, those strangers, strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion. I curse you. I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Say, Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Hallelujah I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, 
over any man's life at the count of three they are open one two three The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen, you may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now, I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them fire 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 upon every family fire fire the spirit of death broken Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human worship, but as I pass your role, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire, and like a wildfire, it will pass you and begin to consume things. Some of you, as I pass that physical fire, that heat, Lord, let it be right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Rakoto Shoprekete Baratokosia, Brakato Toto Ketata. Rakato Shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil. From every row, row to row. Row to row, row to row. That fire right now. Every witchcraft, every power. Every witchcraft, every power. Tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please, quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. I hear what I'm saying now. It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. Now. Break it now. In the name of Jesus. 
you don't have to touch me just be there's somebody here the yoke of delay is breaking now 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 it's breaking now by the power of the holy ghost breaking now break now breaking now breaking now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right. Right. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them. Help them. Please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring, what's your name? Daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer. I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere. recurrent issues the Lord is addressing them now our time is gone but I'm praying recurrent issues the power of God is going to fall on people now I don't know how those outside will do but I pray for grace for them but I'm seeing a grace
to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of jesus never again by the power of the holy ghost please i know it's raining but participate god is touching people i'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back i decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah toy What's your name? My son is Tony. Tony. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is Tony. i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands i will pray for you i will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family hold my hands with both of your hands your family must be free from witchcraft lord jesus ah fire fire on every altar fire on every altar of witchcraft i command i use as a point of contact and pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness are you towing huh? you have bad luck bad luck on your life very bad luck hold my hands hold it with both of your hands lord jesus this is a miracle service set this lady free this yoke of bad luck i decree and declare that it must leave you right now in the name of jesus christ it must leave you right now your sister in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the same way god is touching her may god touch you too in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, my dear, you are towing. My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a mom. And her immediate younger sister to me also me. Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus through you let it touch your family please don't come out carelessly don't come out why why is she out why are you out my dear huh my sister is doing okay I will lay my hands on you be free of your mother your mother something is leaving your mother in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Kai what is this look at i'm seeing a snake this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing a snake i'm seeing a snake i'm seeing a snake 
please just thank god it's raining if you are inside don't complain those outside are enduring the rain just keep quiet and allow god to visit you snakes i saw a snake from this lady and i'm still seeing snakes around there's no hiding place for darkness Rakato Soto Prekete Kata. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Memuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Memuna. Huh? Is what? Your step, okay. Memuna. No, I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Sister. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, if you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back outside all the overflows anyone who has that manifestation in their lives I release them right now in the name of Jesus Christ I release them right now I release them right now I release them from it right now in the name of Jesus Christ I release them right now why is he here why are you here sir uh, my cousin is what my cousin we are here last week but he didn't come today your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them whatever their issues are. I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears 
sometimes from your pocket sometimes from your bag i'm not talking of stealing listen to what i'm saying don't just come out carelessly Physic money you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less it has disappeared who is that i need to pray for you it's a very serious issue yeah na 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 you hallelujah Kai, the lord is showing me something very serious there's somebody um don't be embarrassed you woke up physically in the middle of the night and now i'm not saying you idolize animals but there was a rat a physical rat not running around you were looking at it it was looking at you like this there's someone like that here rat it was looking at you you were wave your hands let me know you are the one i'm talking to come out come and stand here i'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms that's not what i'm this this is a special unique demonic case come Kai. this lady i have to pray for you favor zero breakthrough zero trouble hundred percent father in the name of jesus change this face i'm seeing jacatos coprakato zakatolia katapakanda praticia lekos kapranda gada shuse preketekatos in the name of jesus zekata atata suzia mante pros kataprande katolia kata shakas kendekos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata reketos sekete keteketa bakata Mamprato soto bere keteria kata Shasesesesete kata Mamprato soto topaka Embriata sada siata Shakel kata maskada baria kato Embre kete 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 Rekos kososo pekete de kata Mebriata sise kotosho paria kata Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains Break the chains in the name of Jesus hallelujah there is somebody your grandmother appears to you your grandmother appears to you where is that person come don't be but this is a serious issue our time is gone but thank god is raining we are going to round up your grandmother you see your grandmother she appears. who is that wave your hands come and stand here it's a very demonic thing your grandmother appears to you come and stand grandmother appears to you who is that wave your hands let me know you are here all of you that see your grandmother come and stand here we have to break you from that demonic thing what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness this lagos lady god is on your case because you need to be thoroughly thoroughly delivered there is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place you hallucinate this lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel. She can live. Not vision. Live physically. This lady. I command that wicked spirit. In the name of Jesus. And whatever she sees about you. Except you are powerful. It must happen. It's a spirit. She doesn't even know why. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat. I curse you. By the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ please don't be tired i know our time is gone but it's raining let, let let's just visit these things because come you are a beautiful girl but no favor in your life shift let me talk to this this yellow girl come run god wants to wipe your tears ah i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something like a crown on your head come you must be delivered thoroughly father in the name of jesus christ let this cause of disfavor is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato soto bakata randa koto soto kete barakata i decree and declare every legal access of darkness i cause it right now i cause it right now i open the doors i open the doors from the realm of the spirit let there be favor over your life in jesus name hold on sir i need to pray for you this encounters supposed encounters has retrogressed your life i hear what i'm saying i have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now you too you see your grandmother 
Where are you from? Kalaba. No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you do you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you. This is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked and demonic issues. Special, strange, wicked and demonic issues. Someone has fallen down there. Please let the doctors attend to the person. Make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kai, you, come. What business do you have to do with dead people? Dead people. Eh? Hold my hands. Say in Jesus' name. Say it seriously. In Jesus' name. Every affiliation with the dead I curse it now. I release an anointing upon you now. Everything you have to do with dead people. In Jesus name. Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Huh? Mm -mm. You are not serious with Jesus. Hold my hands. How are you? Don't be embarrassed but um, the first thing you need is your relationship. I'm looking at you. I can't, I don't want to embarrass you but you need Jesus seriously. I love you. Eh? That's why I'm helping you. I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the uh, who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. He's, he only is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to. In your destiny is needed. Please go and see. He will talk to you. Now, all of you who are having these issues, I'm going to lay my hands on you now. When I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. There is this strange Kai. I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you will feel yourself. You will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed. There's somebody with that case, that situation right now. I have to pray for that person right now. I have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, sir. your life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying the money truth. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, sir. You are man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Go now and cost that spirit.
That's why I want to thank you so much for your patience. I just took advantage of the rain. I want to prophesy over your life now. We're going to be very fast, five minutes, and we're out of this place. Please, I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now. Every prayer. Come. Every prayer. The Lord is taking you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new dimension. A new level. Cameraman. God is wiping your tears. Keep the camera first. Wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady. I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus. Everything tying down your families particularly the lord is asking me to release family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ i prophesy those outside please follow me those online follow me our time is gone but let's just be patient two three minutes we're out of here I decree and declare from tonight move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus make progress 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 in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus multiply in the name of Jesus anyone here who has lost anything in your life I declare I'm seeing 28 in 28 days 28 days from now I command that it comes back to your hands I command that it comes back to your hand I command that it comes back to your hand anyone here who has been victimized by life by circumstances by men i decree and declare may the god i serve vindicate you right now everyone here in need of direction you are praying oh god i need to know what step do i take in the name of jesus tonight strange encounters that bring you direction strange encounters that bring you direction the yoke of poverty and hardship and lack i command it to live your life now i command it to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now i pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting god for as a family I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now, I decree and declare from tonight, not tomorrow, from tonight, let it start working in your life. Strange favor in your life. Strange favor in your life. God has placed his honor upon this ministry I pray for you from today anywhere you go whether they know you or not I command them to honor you believe it I command honor upon your life in the name of Jesus two more prayer points and we're done whatever has made your pace of your life slow some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny at the rate you are going you will not do much in your lifetime I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life your prayer life your fasting life word life passion for God passion for the house of God right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar prayer fire on your altar 
word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar i decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer i say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of jesus christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the god of vengeance arise in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain